For George Jones, this is a family tradition. He's a fourth generation broom maker. My great grandfather started. Uh, they started in 1931. He still uses some of the original equipment his great grandfather used. Nothing electrical in his shop. They're made using natural broom corn. And it hadn't been processed, it hadn't been treated. It still has all the natural dust collecting ability that it should have. When I trim my brooms, I trim them long, so they've got the really fine ends and they sweep a lot better. And don't for a second think a broom is a broom. George makes about 30 different styles. About 10 years ago, a major health scare put life in perspective. I bit my tongue, and I'm like, that felt funny. Within a couple of weeks, find out that I have stage four tongue cancer. And prognosis really wasn't very good. With a lot of prayer and some great doctors, George pulled through. As he focused on treatment and recovery, he wasn't able to make brooms for months. He then realized how important it was to him. That really is what drives me. You know, I have to make brooms. As long as I'm making brooms, I know I'm gonna be okay. The handles are just as interesting as the working end of the broom. Most are sticks he collects on long walks around his fields. Others are flea market finds, like this vintage croquet mallet. I'm taking a raw material broom corn, and I'm taking a handle, and depending on the style, within 10 to 30 minutes, I've got a functional piece of art that is totally unique.